Hi everyone, so today we're going to be talking about why the divisibility by 3 trick works. So first what I did is I wrote out all the way up to 120 um, numbers that are divisible by 3. So if we just start out, we have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. And then what I noticed is we have a pattern. So every 3, every 10 set of numbers, the ones digit is going to repeat itself. So we have 3, 6, 9, and then once we reach 30, which is 3 times 10, we're going to get 33, 36, 39. So I notice that we have a pattern within our ones place. So I made this chart just to kind of help us lay it out here. So if we look at the number in the ones place and we have 0, 3, 6, or 9, we know that those are going to be our factors of 3. So then I said, well, what comes before the ones place? So what comes in the tens place? And I noticed that every time the 3, 6, 9 and the 0 repeat, so 0, 3, 6, 9, as you can see here, we have another factor of 3 that comes before it. So if we look at, it, look at an example, say we have 96. We have 6, which is going to be a factor of 3. And then we have 9 which is a factor of 3. And now because we have a factor of 3, right, because we'd be adding these digits together just to see if it's divisible, we have a factor of 3 plus another factor of 3. We know that will give us another factor of 3 when we add them together. So then we would be able to see that the that our number 96 is going to be divisible by 3. Now if we look at the 258 pattern, we know that that's a factor of 3 minus 1. So then we looked at the digit that comes to the left of it, and we see that that's a factor of 3 plus 1. So if we take 42 for example, the 2 is going to be our factor of 3 minus 1 and our 4 is our factor of 3 plus 1. So you're probably wondering how does that work out? Well if we write it out and we have factor of 3 plus 1 plus another factor of 3 minus 1 that's going to give us another factor of 3 because these plus 1 and the minus 1 will cancel out because we know that 2 is 1 less than 3 and 4 is 1 more than 3 those added ones and the subtracted one will cancel out and you'll just get a factor of 3 plus a factor of 3 which we know is another factor of 3 so therefore that number would be divisible by 3 now if we look at the 1, 4, 7 pattern, our number in the 1's place is a factor of 3 minus 2. So then if we look at what comes to the left of the 1, 4, and the 7, we have a factor of 3 plus 2. So let's look at 87 as an example. Our 7 is going to be factor of 3 plus, er, sorry, factor of 3 minus 2, and our 8 is our factor of 3 plus 2. So then if we add those together, just as we would add our digits, we have factor of 3 minus 2 plus a factor of 3 plus 2. And those 2's will cancel out because we have minus 2 and a plus 2. And so we have a factor of 3. When we add those two factors of 3 together, we know that gives us one factor of 3. And then we would know that the number is divisible by 3. So just like we said here, a factor of 3 minus 2. So this was 9 minus 2 gave us 7. And then we had 6 plus 2 gave us 8, so 87. And then we had a factor of 3 
left over, so then we knew that it was divisible by 3. Now we can do the same trick with even bigger numbers. So if we look at the number 453, we can do the same process, but now when we look to the left, we have to consider all of the digits. So if we just look at our 3 first, we know that this is a factor of 3. But then if we look to the left, we see that we have more than one digit. So we look at, in order for this to work, we have to move through each place value. But if we were to look at this on the surface, we have one factor of 3 and 3. And then if we were look at, to look at 45, that's also a factor of 3. However, when you do this trick, you're going to add each individual digit each individual digit together. You wouldn't add 3 plus 45 and see if that's divisible by 3 because that's not how the trick works. So we're going to also have to break this one up. So now we just look at the next digit over. So we look at just this 5 and that's going to be a factor of 3 minus 1. And then this 4 is a factor of 3 plus 1. So then we know that if we have a factor of 3 minus 1 plus factor of 3 plus 1 plus another factor of 3, that's going to give us a factor of 3 because we have we can cancel out the negative 1 and the positive 1 and we have 3 factors of 3 left over. And we know that when we add factors of 3 together, we're also going to get a factor of 3. So then you know that 453 is divisible by 3.